Yes, no. they are. So this they're killing you indiscriminately. Which you're do but they're not. 30,000 sounds indiscriminate 30, to me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. And the are International Court that? of Justice. Are you getting that from the health? No, the health International Court of Justice. Are you getting that from the health organization? No, Who from President Biden. No, President Biden. He, he says 30,000. Said 30, Twice. They're getting their information well, from I, the Well, I, I listen to what he says. Oh, you listen to what he says. He said it third so twice. You should go somewhere else and not be in front of a Jew. Why? I'm Jewish. I'm second generation. Wonderful. I'm, I'm so a happy. Jewish Bundist. Then you should know that you And we were always against Zionism. You should know that to use the word genocide, when, when genocide is what happened in the Holocaust, I know what, my family was genocided, and it's happening well, again. You should be ashamed of yourself for using that word. No. Dr. Abraham Weisfeld. Not in our name. No genocide in Gaza allowed. Not in our name, no genocide allowed in Gaza. Not in our name. Well, it's been good today because there's a lot of people came into the Jewish uh, community campus from Pura. So I had first contact with uh, a lot of Jewish people. Not in our name. Genocide's not allowed in Gaza. Not in our name. No genocide allowed in Gaza. Hi. How's your knee? Not too bad. I you don't have to walk around. 
No, the 15th of April is my operation. Uh, they, they delayed it. Uh, yeah. Yes, I know they delayed it, but I didn't know when. Yeah, 15th. And then after that, I'll be in convalescence for six weeks. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to come back. They'll all miss me. <laughs> Maybe someone that replaces you? I don't know anybody else. You know, I know some Jewish anarchists and Marxists and here in Montreal, but, you know, they're just, they're like followers, you know, they just follow the, the leftist trend of the time. Populist, is, I think, is the name for their kind of politics. Yeah. Moldovia! So tell me about Moldovia. How did it become independent if it's such a small territory? And it used to be part of the uh, Pale of Settlement under the Tsarist uh, Empire, didn't it? Part of what? The pale, Sorry. the pale of settlement, in the Tsarist times. In Tsar time, it was part of Russia. Yes, but the Jews were only allowed to live in the in this uh, region called the Pale of Settlement, ah. that was around Belarusia and Moldova, and part of Ukraine, Odessa. That ah. was a Jewish territory, but you know it was like a ghetto, but big. It should have become like a Jewish territory, in place of Israel, but. But no, they got all killed off. We have pogrom was in 1903. This is the time the, the capital of this uh, Moldova. Mm. There was a pogrom. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, 1903. Uh, uh, 1903. Yeah, beginning uh, yeah. of century. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There was, was pogroms pogrom. regularly every year. I pass yeah. at uh, at uh, what's it called uh, Easter. There was always pogroms because that's when the Christians were incited by their uh, clergy okay. to blame the Jews for the death, for the uh, execution of uh, Jesus Christ. So they come and they kill some Jewish people, you know, just to, just for so fun. So what is about uh, what's but right when, now? But after the Ramadan? revolution, there was no more pogroms. It stopped. You know, before they were... No, no pogroms. No, no pogroms. Just purges. <laughs> Oh, I, the Jewish Bundes who joined the Communist Party, half of the Jewish Bundes in Russia, they went and joined the Communist Party because yeah. they won the revolution, right? Yeah. So, after a few years, when Hitler made an agreement with Stalin, then all the Jewish Bundes who were complaining about the agreement with Hitler, he purged them, killed them all. And the leadership of the Jewish Bund, they were put into prison because they were against the pact with Hitler. That's what it was like for the Jewish pundits and, and for the Communist Party. And then here, the, the Communist Party is like the independent Jewish voices. They're the ones who came and are banned now by the injunction. They, they, they're, you know, Marxists, you know, so much they don't think that Jewish people exist. They're just, you know, some religious people who are, who are backward. That's it, that's all, as far as they're concerned. Have you heard about Schwab? 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 He's a billionaire or something? It's a forum, forum, Mondial Forum. Oh, no, I don't know about that. No. He is to remove the nationality, to remove the boundary. Uh, country, no states, no all one world. Yeah, but what's going to replace it? He doesn't know what to replace it with. Yeah, I have developed uh, a theory of a federation, federation of federations. In which, you know, look, in the United Nations there's only 194 nation states now. But there's 3,000 nations in the world. You know, especially in Africa, many more nations than there are states. So each nation should be part of a federation that is part of a bigger federation. And that's how you build up society. He, he proclaimed no nationalities. Is he impossible? In no religious, no religious. Impossible, because uh, religion is culture also. You can't abolish culture. And Justin Trudeau, he's a, he's the best student. Oh. Klaus Schwab. Oh. Klaus Schwab, the best student. Except, and all, and, uh, except that he's a very Freeman. he's a very poor student. <laughs> starting yeah last Sunday I discovered something after I did my three hours here I went over to Dekari and I looked down and there's all this hot you know like rush hour traffic so I put up my banner right on the uh, 
on the barrier, right in front of all these cars coming by. 